Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. Hello, I'm Urs Recho. And um, welcome to another how-to video. Yes. Carl, you're playing with all my soft boxes, accessories for soft boxes. Tell us what's going on. Uh, well, I thought I'd do something fairly simple today. Um, just going to go with a two light setup, uh, two soft boxes. We've got yeah. the small uh, 75 um, Octobox. Yeah. And we're going to portrait light Zoe with this Octobox here on the upper uh, face area. Yeah. And then we have the 30 by 120 uh, with the uh, thin strip mask here just to put a bit of edge light down the side of Zoe's face. But uh, it's a really economical lighting setup, this. Yeah. Very easy for, for anyone to do, whether you do it with a Cirrus or whatever. It's just a, it's a great little accessory. We're going to show a simple setup. But the key thing here is we're going to explore the different accessories for the softbox. Okay. So things like your grids, uh, your third diffuser. Have a play and show the good people okay. exactly what these do. Sounds very interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's start off with just a straight shot of Zoe in this setup. Right. We'll examine what that looks like and then we'll show the difference when we put a grid on. You go on from there. Yeah, Fantastic. okay. Okay, Zoe, if you can just look uh, at me, please. Fantastic, I'm just gonna get focus on your eyes. It's very shallow depth of field. Um, we're just gonna shoot a few, lovely, again. Let's just run through a couple of these shots. So you can see we have, a, we have quite a shallow depth of field. I'm shooting at uh, 2.8 here. And just going for this sort of fairly tight crop on the upper, upper body. We have the soft lighting. You can see the soft box in the eyes. But what you can see with the, the, the general soft box is that it's illuminating the wall quite considerably behind. Yeah. Uh, and the light is obviously falling throughout this whole area. Mm -hmm. uh, what we can do is if we put a grid on, we can concentrate that beam of light, as you know, to a more defined space. Okay, yeah. And in doing so, it will reduce the light on the wall, it will increase the harshness of the light a little bit, and it will reveal more texture. Okay. I mean, in my studio, it's big enough, so I could take Zoe further away from the background to get the same, but especially for small studios, if you need a lot of light control on Absolutely. small sets. Absolutely. Absolutely. These the grids are the perfect accessory for people working in small okay. studios, because small home studios. More controlled. Yes, because you don't have a lot of space in these small studios. You've got light bouncing around everywhere, so okay. the grids give you that extra yeah. uh, level of control. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, the, sort of the, the run of shots that we've yeah. got here, um, we're just going to concentrate that beam down and look at the difference. So let's put that uh, I'm grid. for you. Yes, please. So I just mounted in front of the yep. second diffuser. And it just Velcros. Yeah, just Velcros, very easy once around and you're done. And yep. It doesn't really block too much the light that goes out in the center, but it blocks the light that wants to go left and right. The edges, so, yeah. More control. Yeah. So we're going to keep the light in yep. the same position on uh, Zoe, and I'm going to shoot a few more pictures. Lovely. A little bit of a smile on a couple of those for me, Zoe. That's beautiful. Good. And again. So immediately we can see on this shot how the light now is becoming more contrasty, especially on this side yeah. of the face. How can this be? Because it's from the same position. Well, as you know, because of the grid, the light from the edge of the light is being blocked. Its path is not able to reach okay. that part okay. of the face. And I also see. look at the significant difference on the background as well. If we just mark up uh, one of these shots mm. here, and we go back to the uh, previous shots here, we can see how the background is yeah. significantly different. So yes, this light is still softer, yeah. uh, and in many ways more attractive, but we have uh, this level of control with the grid, which gives a slightly more aggressive lighting, but 
concentrates the beam in, controls the light, and, and like you said, working in a small studio yeah. space uh, can be a little bit more versatile for you, can control uh, where that light goes. Exactly. Even if you have on the other side of the model, let's say a white wall close by with a softbox, everything would be illuminated. Yes, and bouncing, bouncing back. back. Yes, absolutely. So you, don't, you can't achieve any contrast. And no, It just no. gives you more contrast yes, in the shot. Absolutely. I see. Um, now, there's another accessory for the softboxes that I'd like to talk about, yep. and that is the third diffuser. Now, the third diffuser is useful when you're talking about shooting glossy subjects because uh, what we really want to achieve with um, a softbox is a, what we call a homogenous light source, mm, yes. an even light source. And the third dif diffuser really makes that light source even. So we're going to demonstrate that with a pair of sunglasses. Yep. Um, so we're going to get Zoe to pop these sunglasses on. And we're going to go back to the normal softbox as it was. But what I'm going to do, Oz, is I'm going to just increase my depth of field, first of all, because we're going to be photographing uh, Zoe and the reflection in the sunglasses, okay. and the depth of field will not be great enough because the, the effective image of, in the sunglasses is, is further away. So I'm going to just increase to f11 and put the lights up, first of all, so that we can see the reflection and Zoe at the same okay. time. And, 2.8, uh, so 4 or 5.6. So Four off stops. Uh, eh? Yeah, let's go up uh, four stops, please. Changing to F11 on the camera. Taking that shot. And okay, here's, here's what we can see. So let's have a look at the reflection. Yep. If we look at the light in the glasses, we can see how the softbox, you can see some of the sort of patchiness around the edges. Yes, yep. Just a little bit. I mean, the actual diffusion is very good but we can actually improve that with the third diffuser. Okay. So let's take the third diffuser. Now the interesting thing with the third diffuser, and what I really like about it, is that it's got the uh, mask around the edge, which gives you a very defined, clean exactly. line. And then with the spacing, now it's slightly separated from the internal diffuse, diffuser. That's really making yep. that an even light source. This is a little bit tighter across the yep, surface, exactly. so it's pulled flatter. So now what we should see is that whole light in the glass is being a lot smoother and cleaner. And sharp edged. And well. sharp yeah, edged, okay. which can be particularly useful in product photography exactly, if yeah. you want to get that lovely sharp yep. edge on it. Now, we have put an extra diffuser on, so we're going to have to put power up. A little, a little bit, bit. yeah. So I'm probably going to put it third up. Of yeah, I expect, a little bit, yeah. and uh, we'll we'll see if that's the right amount. Okay, so same thing again. Is Zoe looking towards the light? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, just going for a comparison. Let's say yeah. if we choose this. There we go. Now, if um, we look at that, we can see a more even and cleaner edge to the light compared to the previous shot. Yeah, you see it's smoothing out on that side and that side, and it's much softer yeah. uh, around. It's still a little bit darker, but we're, we're okay. Yeah. And let's look at the other lens here. Here's where we've got a lot of sort of patchiness down that corner, and now that's all smoothed out. So there you can see with the third diffuser um, on there that we get a more defined edge, sharper yeah. lines on the edge of the softbox, and a more homogeneous light source, which is a great extra accessory. It's not really needed when you're shooting matte surface or skin tones. Absolutely. It's only on glossy surfaces. Okay. It's really... Uh, like uh, when I shoot bottles or uh, advertising for sunglasses, exactly. stuff like that. That, that okay. sort of thing, exactly right. Now, interestingly, talking about edges, um, we mentioned about the edge mask that we've got here. We've got this edge uh, cutoff uh, on this one so that we can create a strip light with a mm -hmm. softbox. Yes. You guys, cleverly at Broncolor, I think maybe you were even partly responsible, have come up Sorry, with a no. new edge mask. We actually did, yes. You yeah. did. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, the idea is, you know, we have seen it in the first shot that this uh, edge mask, this hair light, somehow ends up here. So it, it, uh, because it's a softbox, it nicely covers all the one side of the body, but it ends here. Yes. So what, let's say, if Zoe would have had uh, black hair, I would probably need more hair light that goes all around. Mm -hmm. So of course we want you to, let's say, buy three softboxes, one here, one here, one here, or you use one softbox the right way around, which is with an edge mask, and then we just actually use the negative of this. We keep the center of the softbox dark yep. and use uh, an, edge, uh, an edge light here, 
a rim light here, a hair light here. So yeah, all around. To get a rim light. Exactly. And with this new edge mask, you can accomplish that with just with catching just one. it with one exactly. on one exactly. point. Let's yeah. get one over. So now with this very uh, cleverly designed uh, extra accessory, we can create a black background behind our model, but with a beautiful rim light, edge light all the way around. Exactly, yes. And uh, you've created these not just for this softbox, no, for all the rectangular softboxes, so not for the square ones, not for the octagonal ones, but for all for the square softboxes from the biggest one, 120 by 180, all the way to the small one, which is 35 by 60 centimeters. Right, excellent. So four different sizes. Yeah, and it's particularly effective on this size because it gives you a bigger background area for a, for a portrait shot. Yeah, um, but like as well, this. if you shoot, let's say, uh, a watch and you just have a small setup, then you do the same technique yeah. with a small uh, or, with a small softbox. Or so macro shots of flowers or absolutely. all sorts yeah. of things, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's give this a whirl, but what we're going to do is we're going to just take that one off for, for the now, moment, yeah. Yeah. just sure. so people take can see the effect of the uh, rim lighting on this one alone. There we go. So now we've gone up one top and we've got this fantastic mm. rim light all the way around the edge of the model with a beautiful solid black background. And this is actually to create this normally is a more complex That's right. lighting setup, yep. you know. Um, you've either got to use the softbox or like we did with the Cirrus example when you did the product shot of the Cirrus, you've got to put a big piece of black yep. card in there, set that up yep. on another lighting stand. But a, a really quick and effective way, and, and even if you weren't doing it with the black card, you might be trying to do a rim light effect with one light, two lights, three lights. Here you're just solving the problem with one, exactly. sing That's one single light. And if it's this large softbox, it's even big enough with, uh, with a model. So let's just bring that back in. Um, we're going to reduce the power because we don't want to overpower the uh, rim lighting effect. So we're going to reduce the uh, power and have that just as a much, much more softer uh, fill. So let's knock that down a couple of stops and just... Um, one and a half. One and a half. And I'm going to put the rim light up a stop just so we can really okay, see the effect of it. Um, and we're just going to take that around a little bit more to the front here. Um, we've got this frame up on you there. It's going to get focus. Take, I think we'll blink that, let's have a go again. Okay, and let's just have a look on that one. Now it's a little bit dark on the shadow on this side, so we're going to just bring that light up. Let's have a look again. So let's have a look at our exposure. Yeah, so here you've got that lovely light all the way around the body and the hair just with a soft shadow fill from our other softbox. And obviously you can control that fill to your desired yeah, level, sure, depending yes. on the effect that you're trying to achieve. Um, but I think, yeah, something uh, like th this sort of look and effect where the rim light is still the more dominant or powerful light. Um, you could obviously affect this even more, make it look more fashion style by actually bringing in a point light source with stronger shadows rather than a softbox. Number yeah, of options exactly. available to you and also, especially useful for product photography, for like you say, when you're rim lighting an Absolutely. object uh, uh, around, the, uh, around the edges of, yes. uh, of a product shot. So it's a thought really, as you said, just as a, sp uh, as a starting point, you know, to have a basic light, a perfect rim all around, and then from the front you can combine it with anything you want. Absolutely. So that's uh, yeah. absolutely yeah. very creative possibility. Yeah. Okay, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, how-to video where we're just demonstrating uh, the accessories for uh, softboxes. And uh, remember, these soft boxes are probably one of the most economical lighting modifiers you can, you can get. They're very economic and they are really a perfect system now with all the different sizes, uh, different shapes, different accessories. They are really a, a complex and a complete system now. They're yep. very and nice. a perfect match for the, uh, the Cirrus lights. For the Cirrus, well. uh, for the, the normal lamp heads, for the Cirrus, anything you want, they're compatible. Great. Okay, thanks very much. We'll see you on the next how to. Thank you. Bye bye.